Stephanie? No, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> I prefer the girl. Guys, can you get in this one? <laughs> so things are going well. I love you. What a love sweet you. boy. <laughs> and Albany is right here. What's on your on your whiskers? You are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. You're so pretty. <laughs> Bored. Oh no no no. Nelly, you gotta Nelly. stay in there. Nelly, beauty. Good catch boy. you guys out for too long. Be a good boy, Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> Smaller items may be placed under the seat in front of you, and if you're seated in an exit seat, once again, please review the exit seat. Dollar goldfish, eleven dollar checks mix. Puppies are priceless. You are being bad for Tiva. Actually, now he's like sleeping, <laughs> just halfway out. <laughs> You peed and threw up by. <laughs> and you broke your little bag, so you're just sitting up. <sighs> Having a child, you guys. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Well, she probably did get heavier if her bag's wet. <laughs> They're at home. The puppies are at home. All right. As you guys can tell, I'm home now. Sorry. I was like, who is that? It's my teddy bear in the background. But basically, I just wanted to talk about everything that you just saw. I realized that I wasn't really explaining as I was going. If you guys follow my Instagram, you will already kind of know the situation. If you don't, you should follow my Instagram. It's always linked down below. But basically, um, yeah, I don't even know where to start. Yesterday was just the craziest thing, and I knew I wanted to have this little clip at the end explaining everything, talking about how it all happened, the story of everything, in case you don't follow me on my Instagram, and this will just be like <clears throat> a better explanation. So basically, I have you guys completely to thank for being able to be a flight angel, a flight companion, whatever you call it, in bringing these rescued puppies back home to the US. Well, not back home to the US, but like to the US where one was already adopted and one is in a foster home currently and their brother and sister and basically what happened was so many of you were in my DMs commenting telling me about these puppies and this one one the I don't know just gonna say it the one puppy named Albany was the puppy that basically um her profile the name is Alyssa rescues and she posted about this puppy Albany how Albany lost her flight to America with the flight companion because they were sick during this time or weren't traveling anymore whatever it is you guys know it's like the craziest time right now so basically Albany was already adopted in the US I actually met her um, mama in like I don't even know how to say it the mom who was adopting her and her son yesterday at the airport when I gave Albany to her but yeah basically Albany needed a new flight companion to get home to the US and the reason it gets really um, urgent is because the puppies can't get too big to the point where they can't fly anymore and Albany was almost too big so I'm so happy that I was able to help out and I remember when I first reached out to Alyssa I was like hey I so many people have been telling me about Albany I'm actually flying home um, to Boston in two days and this was like near where the area where the adopted family was living and I was like I see that your post has now it has like 
14,000 shares or something and I have so many comments I'm like whoa this literally went like viral and I realized you probably already have arrangements made since I saw this post after like all these other people did obviously but if I can help out let me know and she was like yeah this will work so basically I got Albany and her brother Nelson it was me and my friend Caitlin technically because you can only have like one pet per person so I'm so happy that Caitlin helped me thank you Caitlin and yeah, it was just so special to be able to bring them to the US. They were rescued in an abandoned house in the Bahamas. And I thought it was just the two of them, but I think it, they had more siblings. Because yesterday when I dropped off Nelson with his foster mom, she actually had one of his brothers before. And then one of the neighbors of the foster mom adopted him for like the forever home, if that makes sense. So, um, and yeah, it's like confusing because I thought that Nelson was adopted already by Kim But Kim was just the foster mom because she like fosters these dogs and then um, Gives them to their forever home so that she can foster more dogs if that makes sense so if you guys are interested in having Nelson in your family and welcoming him to your forever home. It's a little confusing, but I can link down below in the description Alyssa's um, Facebook profile because I know it's like Alyssa Rescues and also I believe the nonprofit that it's a part of is called WAGS It's like waiting animals getting support for just abused animals and I think mainly dogs Or maybe only dogs. I don't know that much about it, but um, I think it's abused dogs and rescued dogs that are found basically and so it's just such a good thing to be a part of it part of and i'm so happy that so many of you told me about it and i was able to help like it just blew my mind it just blows my mind like how powerful it is to have a platform where so many of you can like tell me this and where i can actually make a difference and it was just like the craziest day yesterday and really like exhausting emotionally and physically but so rewarding like the best part of my trip to the Bahamas wasn't even actually me being in the Bahamas is being able to bring these cuties to where they're gonna find their homes and yeah so many of you are also like Gretchen why don't you just keep Nelson and like literally I want to because they are so perfect but you guys know me and Max have been talking about getting a golden retriever forever and it basically wouldn't just be like my dog it's like a dog that we're gonna share together so it's definitely a decision I would want to make with him and he didn't even get to meet him or anything um, but yeah after going through all of this adopting a dog and rescuing a dog is just I see why it's so important and impactful and just like so it's like such an amazing thing and basically it's so simple you guys I feel like before if you guys remember I don't know if I like filmed it at all but when I was in Curacao this past time when we were coming back to Boston you guys are my best friend Natalie she does YouTube too and she brought back two puppies to yeah Boston same thing and then the family was so cute they were waiting like right where our bags came out and we gave them the puppies and we were like oh my gosh it's gonna be so hard to say goodbye but I remember when she heard about that in Curacao and was bringing puppies back home where they were adopted and then gonna get rescued Rescued, or where they were rescued gonna get adopted the same sort of thing I was kind of just skeptical and I didn't know about it and I was like oh my gosh whose dogs are these like what if I can't take care of them during the flight and what if I don't know how I was just so nervous and didn't know about it but since I went through that with Natalie and saw Natalie and how easy and simple it was you just have to make sure you have the right paperwork blah blah, blah whatever um I was like I could totally do that so whenever you guys told me about Albany and then Nelson as well I was like I so want to do that and be able to help out like if I can help that would just be the most amazing thing and to see we Kim was a foster mom and then Abby was the mom who adopted Albany but she just renamed her so now it's confusing but to see how excited Abby was to get her new puppy with her son and everything it's just like the most rewarding feeling the only thing is you guys is you get so emotionally attached like flying with them and taking care of them just for the day I had such a hard time saying goodbye to Albany and Nelson and I literally was crying as you saw afterwards because I was just like I love those puppies they're so cute we were thick and thin together and yeah basically the process was like super simple like I said you just get their paperwork and everything they brought them right to the airport in the Bahamas and Claire this really nice lady um, gave me them and just walked me through the process and helped me 
get them added to my reservation i don't really know how to describe it but make it so that you can like bring them on the flight and then the only thing was we were delayed for like an hour or two so we were just like there for a little bit longer and then our flight was already like three something hours and so and it's just like a lot on the puppies as you can imagine like the travel going to a complete new country like everything like that and I don't really know because I haven't ever taken a dog with me on a plane before until yesterday. But I believe you only feed them like a little bit early in the morning because you don't want them to have an upset stomach or to be like peeing and pooping every all day while you're trying to travel. And so it really wasn't bad. Albany just had a little bit of an upset stomach. But I, it's so crazy how quickly I just flew into mom mode, brought her to the bathroom, got her all cleaned up, cleaned up her little carrier. I was like, everything's good, we're good, don't worry, sis. And she seemed so sad and like worried. And I'm like, no, it's okay. Like, it's not your fault that you're traveling through the airport all day and going through all this new stress and like anxiety. But at least she had her brother. They like love each other. They're so cute. Nelson was so good. He only chewed through the zipper on his little carrier that was like the only thing i was like come on chew your chew toy but no they were like literally the best puppies ever they were just like so sweet and yeah again i'm just like so happy that i could help and i know that there are always so many dogs in the bahamas that are rescued and so basically if you just want to check out information in the description box down below that is just who you guys put me in touch with and yeah, I know her name's Alyssa that handles the adoptions and I can also put her email down below too if it's something you're really serious about. Um, but yeah, that was just like the craziest thing and like I said, I'm like emotionally attached just like being with them all day. They were so good on the flight, they mostly slept and then just met Kim and Abby at the airport and handed them and put them on their way so yeah that was that and thank you guys again for telling me about it because that was like so special to be a part of and i would so recommend being a flight companion flight angel flight volunteer however you call it because it's something that really isn't hard for you to do at all but makes such a difference in you know finding these rescued puppies a new home so yeah and if you're wondering i'm trying to think of like more like the details obviously you pay when you bring a dog on the flight with you but they just like venmo me back immediately so i literally paid nothing i'm like i would pay to have these dogs hang out with me all day you know so it's just like a win-win situation like it really if you love dogs it is not difficult at all i literally love dogs and it was just like the best thing and i feel like i was just so focused and like i don't know how to describe it attentive to them all day that when i got home i fell asleep in like two seconds and i was like whoa is that what it feels like to be a dog mom or like a real mom i've never had to like take care of two puppies all day like that but it was like oh it was seriously the best thing ever if you guys saw all those clips and sorry i didn't like blog vlog i was just like you know what this is like the craziest time and I want to make sure I am being the best flight companion that I can be and be attentive to them and not fiddling with my vlog camera and trying to vlog at the same time so I just took little clips here and there on my phone. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think of any other questions you guys might have. That was pretty much it. It was just like the most special thing and... Yeah, I'm just so happy and again Nelson honestly he might not be up for grabs anymore because he's so stinking cute and I post about it on my Instagram too because I got so many DMs from you guys because I didn't reply to the DMs because I was like I'm not sure like I just wasn't certain if he had a forever home picked out yet like I knew Albany did um but yeah like I said to clarify he just in a foster home right now and will find his forever home um, very soon like it's his brother found one like very quickly once they're here I feel like it's easy but that's like the hard part just getting them here from the Bahamas and I said this in my Instagram post but I didn't say here yet I not to get too deep just felt like it was really a sign whenever I saw that you guys were telling me about Albany like she, oh my gosh she's the cutest puppy and her brother brother Nelson Nelson just had like Albany was kind of all one color like she almost looked like a chocolate lab I don't even know how to describe what breed they are because they're rescued um we actually they were telling me what kind I forget but they kind of look like Weimaraner Pitbull Doberman lab mixes I don't even know how to describe them you guys saw in the clips but um anyway Albany I just thought it was so beautiful and I felt like it was such a sign that her name was Albany since I'm literally from Albany New York and I was just like whoa that's so crazy 
out of everything that her name's Albany. Like, I really hope that I can help. But again, like I said, going into it, I was like, oh, like they probably already found someone. Like, probably won't be able to. But I'll try because you guys, so many of you were telling me about it. And I was like, okay, like, I'll message her and see what happens. And, like, what happened? I got to bring them to the U.S. Watch, I just start, like, flying to all these <laughs> exotic places and bringing back all the puppies with me to, like, bring them to, you know, loving homes in America. <laughs> That's gonna be my like next um, career path, you guys. But no, it was so amazing. And at first, I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe because I knew the first time when I heard about it, I was a little, not like suspicious, but just kind of naive about the whole process. I thought it was gonna be really difficult. I didn't know if I could handle it, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, when Natalie brought um, puppies back from Chris out. And so, thinking about it I was like do I even want to vlog do I want to like tell you guys about it and I was like I don't know what if I get hate or what if people are like that's like not good during the coronavirus time and they could be like spreading germs or I don't know my head was just going crazy and I always try to that sounds bad like censor myself in a way but just think about obviously if I'm gonna offend anyone or people are gonna react negatively to anything but after my Instagram post everyone was like you're such an angel like that's so sweet that you did that so I was like oh good everyone is like happy that I did that I don't know if people would like find reasons that they would be like this is like not a good thing I don't know like if people were naive about it like I was before like I said but yeah again I just am so happy that I got to do that. Just know if you do it that you might be a little sad when they're not yours anymore. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would encourage you to be a flight angel if the opportunity presents itself. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.